Hey guys, it's Yorkie here with some multiplayer project cars gameplay and today we're going to be driving a BMW Z4 GT3 car around a shortened version of the Nürburgring. So, we are now underway getting a relatively poor start, that is absolutely shocking to be honest. As you can see the Audi disappearing off ahead and McLaren slipping up into second as I just quickly switched the view to the helmet cam there and also recentering my track AR. But we managed to slip up that McLaren so we're now back up into P2 and we are now going to try and hunt down this Audi R8. Obviously, like I said, this is a shortened version of the track. I've never actually driven it before, but this Audi R8 is giving me the opportunity to slip up on the inside here and take first place. But, yeah, like I said, no idea where I'm going, and that's the reason why I ran off wide into the gravel here. Managing to rejoin the track fairly safely. Could have done it a little bit better, to be honest. But we managed to keep hold of second place as the two McLarens are battling there in the rearview mirror. So, yeah, a very short version of this track. We're going to be doing 10 laps in this race. And now that I know the, the layout of where I'm going to be going, I can now actually start to focus a little bit more on actually driving the circuit rather than trying to, you know, look for where I'm going to be braking and all that kind of thing. So, anyway, back to the racing. This R8 are fairly slow through the uh, Schumacher S's there. It did break when you can, uh, can actually take that uh, completely flat out, which is giving me a good opportunity to close the gap and get up underneath his rear wing. Losing a little bit of time through that tight section there. But I managed to nail that right hander a fair bit better. Just going to give me a fairly good opportunity coming down into this hairpin. The McLaren behind me is closing fairly rapidly, so just moving over to cover the inside. So I'm coming there in the rear view mirror. And that R8 has now actually gone wide on the exit of this hairpin, which is giving me a good chance to get up and try and get up alongside him. But he's managing to maintain the position. I know he's going to break here, which he does. So I had to back out myself as well. But he's now opened up the door and he's just going to dive down his inside into this tight right-hander here. And that is McLaren right up underneath my rear wing. Didn't realise that he had made pretty much the same move. But also was having to look down my outside in that tight right-hander. So we've managed to slip up into first with that Audi R8. Losing a couple of positions in the space of a few corners. So now my focus is on the road ahead, obviously, whilst also trying to defend a little bit as well, because McLaren and... Oh god, that was very close to losing the rear end there, the rear axle, locking ever so slightly as I was downshifting, coming into the braking zone, and just as I was turning in, doing a tiny little bit of trail braking. Obviously, no grip on the rear tyres, just stepped out that rear end, but managing to keep it together with some opposite lock. And that wasn't a good corner, actually, locked up ever so slightly coming into that. And I think quite managed to scrub up enough speed, enough speed sorry. and as you saw, whacked the outside Armco barrier and actually run wide there as well. So this hasn't been a tidy lap by me so far. But yep, the McLaren behind me, as you can see, is closing fairly rapidly. So just moving to the inside to cover that inside line, make sure that he doesn't get a good look. Now it's just a case of parrying out of the corner. He's right underneath my rear wing now. He's actually a much, much, be much better run than I did. However, I can take the Schumacher S's completely flat out, as should he. The rev's going very, very high there as the rear tyres losing traction over the kerb. Just spinning up the rears. Just trying to navigate my way through this tight section, losing it slightly, and that McLaren's now on my outside there, as you can see, but I've got the inside line for this right-hander, the final corner on this short version of the circuit. So he is actually very close. I know he's going to be able to get a fairly good run down here. He's now ducked to my inside, so I'm going to give him plenty of room, and basically I'm just going to try and hang it around the outside coming into this corner. So he's there on the inside, gone a little bit too deep more so than I actually wanted to, which has allowed him to slip quite nicely up into first, and I've now slipped back down into P2. And he is going to take a fairly wide line through the Schumacher S's, having to back out the throttle ever so very slightly, and there's not really much of a chance or an opportunity to try and take a look coming into this tight section. So it's just a case of just following, following him through, trying to be nice and smooth, navigating that horrible bump in that little right-hand kick there. Getting a fairly decent run out of this final corner here. Coming now down towards the start finish and over towards the hairpin. But as you can see, he's got much, much better speed than him. But he's left the door wide open and I'm not going to be shy to take that opportunity to try and slip up the inside through this right-handed hairpin. And that's exactly what I've done. I was actually really quite surprised by that as to... I'm guessing he probably ran a little bit too deep into the corner. And he just left the door wide open and I obviously, as you saw seize the opportunity to retake the lead of the race so now as he's looking fairly presentable in my rear view mirrors as again losing the rear end but just about managing to keep it in check with some opposite lock and a little bit of balance in the throttle 
So you see it's closing ever so slightly, so just covering that line. And now actually hesitating on the throttle through the exit to make sure that he doesn't get the undercut on me. As it looked like that that is what I was trying to do, so basically just blocking his line, making sure that he has to back out and doesn't get an opportunity. He's actually on my outside somewhere. So dart off to the left there in the rear view mirror. Again, in numerous places, the rear end, or should I say the rear tyres, just breaking traction and when the car kind of comes over a bump or a press, it is a little bit light. And as you can see, every now and then you get a puff of smoke in the uh, rear view mirror as uh, the wheels spin up. So again, he's gone a little bit to my outside. I actually squeezed him out there, but I also think he ran a little bit deep as well. So I think that actually squeezed him out too much. I would have thought he would have tried ducking underneath me if he had seen that coming. But that's going to give me a whole lot of breathing room as we now come down into the closing stages of the race. So now that I've got this gap, it's just a case of being nice and smooth and bringing the car to the finish. So this is going to be the start of the last lap then. So we're into the final lap now. And like I said, just nice and smooth. Just bring the car home. And the Z4 is actually quite a nice car. It's quite well suited to this uh, this sort of track. Um, I kind of picked it more just on the basis that I wanted to see what the Z4 is like recently. And it's a lot, lot sta more stable than it was before. Uh, but clipping the barrier there. But yeah, the, this track was also quite an interesting choice as well. I've never actually driven it before. And it was quite good. It kept the racing pretty close throughout the duration of the race. And it kind of played into the Z4's advantage a little bit with the tighter, tighter corners. So there we are, taking the win of the race then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a rating. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. And of course, uh, we'll hopefully see you again in the next video. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care.